Uriah Hall fights Sean Strickland this Saturday in the main event at UFC Vegas 33. And you can watch it live on ESPN+. Plus. Don't wait. Click on the link in the description and sign up for ESPN Plus today. Fight. I'll tell you right now, I felt I thought Corey won, to be honest with you. I thought it was close. Yeah. But, uh, too close to be able to say it's a robbery. No, I didn't think it was a robbery, but I did think TJ won. I, I TJ took won. some things away from that fight. Now, TJ got better as it went on. Oh, uh, yeah. So you could say, you could argue that he won rounds th three on, possibly. But I don't know, man. He did have more control time as far as being up on him and being on being holding around the waist up against the back, cage, yeah. up against the cage. But Corey did the most damage. Corey landed the better shots, the stronger shots. And, and then not for anything, when TJ got a takedown, I think Corey did better on bottom than TJ did on top. He's there was no savage one. off his back, yeah. So I think Corey St. Egan looked really, really good. I thought he He's should great. go won. I thought he was the, he looked better, but it was close. And listen, I listen, people is, or giving me because I don't really feel like talking to TJ after the whole thing with the cheating thing. I, I'll tell you right now, the kid is a fighter. When they asked him about that cut, you know, could you go through, absolutely aside that? Of course, like he didn't. He's not. He's not worried about his about getting some stitches and whatever else. You know what I mean? So I give the guy credit. He's a he's a great fighter. Yeah, and uh, he's such a great fighter that he doesn't need to cheat. Yeah. So, you Was know. it only that one fight? Uh, cause I think they tested, that, but the, the problem is this, Jimmy, when something like that happens, my point is like, all right, is it the one point in time you cheated? Or is it the one time you got caught with them going back? I don't know. I, I don't know. So he looked good you know, though, man. Attacks me and they're like, oh, you choose who to be cool with who to, you don't do this. Give shit to John Jones. He got caught with a dick pill. So listen, man, that's a guy that will definitely champion something with a nice dick pill. I think, uh, I, I did think TJ deserved the nod very close. Cause I really like Corey. So I'm. I, it was like I. I saw that. I was like, yeah. I guess he did. I mean, very close. But I thought that he. I, I want to say it was the uh, the final round that made the decision for me. But I thought he might have, like you said, if he won three on, then he won three, four, five. I thought the judges f***ed up in the main event. By all accounts, they messed up in the co-main. I thought the Macy Barber Miranda Maverick won. I didn't like that either. I thought Miranda Maverick won that fight. I thought she right. was really good. I think Macy definitely won the third round. I think she knew she was behind in the third round. Turned on the pressure and uh, I'm trying to remember the exact sequences what went down. But still, I, I had Miranda winning quite comfortably round one and round two. Macy turned it on in round three, so that was good. She showed a lot of will. She showed a lot of spirit. You know, she knew she had to, you know, fight back hard. But still, I, I, I listen. I don't want to take away from somebody's win. It's always tricky when you're sitting here saying this from the luxury of a chair in a podcast. Oh, I thought she didn't win. That's a little mean for us to say. I don't want to take away from the harder devil's effort. advocate. Devil's avocado. <clears throat> Fuck, doesn't matter what we say. We, you know, like she's fine. She got the win, undeservedly so. So she's, it's a net positive for her. Michael Bisping says, ah, you know what? I don't really agree with that decision. That's all, that's the worst she has to deal with. It's all right. All three judges gave Maverick the first. All three gave Barber the third. Yeah, well, Maverick clearly won the first. And I thought Barber won the, the third. So obviously it's round number two that's in question. She needed that win, though. Macy Barber needed that win. Obviously, she came to the UFC talking about becoming the world's, sorry, the UFC's youngest champion ever. Um, and she started losing a few. I think she lost to Roxanne. Then she, did she lose her next one as well? Was she on a two-fight skid, I think, going into that one? Either way, Miranda Maverick, I thought Miranda was going to beat her a lot easier than what she did. Obviously, she didn't even beat her. But Miranda, Miranda Maverick, or Miranda Fear the Maverick, 
I like the fighting style. Not so keen on the nickname, if I'm honest. so much better but it was crazy like right here I don't know right here I found a stitch this morning so I'm like how many more stitches am I gonna keep finding The toughest challenger in the UFC was Robbie Lawler. His ferociousness and one punch power was a different dimension that I ever fought in the octagon. So that was my toughest challenger. My favorite line that I've ever said is calling Candace Owens the ultimate fact champion. Her truth and, and reason is, is something that I inspire to be like. And the way she KO'd Cardi B and Chrissy Teigen on Twitter is something that I'm trying to be like. My workout advice for the average guy is is you got to start today. Don't make it a, a thing to try and start tomorrow. Start today. There's no time to waste and, and be healthy, you know. Have a healthy diet and a clean diet and stay committed to the grind. My workout advice for the average guy is, is you got to start today. Don't make it a, a thing to try and start tomorrow. Start today. There's no time to waste and, and be healthy, you know, have a healthy diet and a clean diet and stay committed to the grind.